Spirit friends, it's Nia. Welcome to Life with Nia. It is time for our weekly savings challenge update. So we are going to go through and um, go through our savings challenges, stuff some cash into some envelopes, and save. Um, the only one, well, it's not the only one because there's still some that are whatever. Anyway, so I'm not going to do the um, 100 envelope challenge today because I did already do that one at the beginning of the month because I did not have my little kit yet. So um, we won't do that one again until probably um, either January 28th um, or the first Friday in February. We'll see. But we are going to do the Rainy Day Fund, the Penny Savings Challenge, Saveopoly, the $5 Challenge, 52-Week Challenge, 22 and 2022, TBM, which is the Budget Mom, and the Zero Out Challenge today. I will say, I feel like these are, like, it's really hard. Um, like, I'll, it's, I'm having to make a conscious decision, like, you can't go buy that because you need to do your savings challenges and is hard. So anyways, we're going to start with um, the rainy day fund and we're going to put $20 in our rainy day fund and we are going to add that on our tracker here. I feel like I've gotten this a little bit more organized. It's not set up the way I would want it to be just because I um, have a bunch of pages in between my savings because I didn't allot enough pages, but it is okay. So today is the 14th and we are saving another $20 to the rainy day fund for a balance of 40. And got my envelopes all organized so we're going to also add that here all right so we've got 20 in here and we are adding another 20 to give us 40 dollars in the rainy day fund the next one we are going to do is the penny savings challenge and I had decided I was going to do nine dollars but I don't have nine dollars. Um, Petey says hi. I have a ten dollars so we're going to do that instead and I need some tabs that would make this easier. Okay, so maybe the penny savings challenge is only in the back. Okay, so it's not because there's a chart somewhere. Okay, so penny savings challenge, we're going to do $10 and that brings us to $25. We'll come back to that 10 in a second because I know there's a chart in here. it said 52 week I kept skipping it okay so we're just gonna check off this 959 there's like a 1008 as well because it works with pennies and change um, as long as I'm in the general vicinity that's fine at the end I should have the 667 ish probably more like 668 um, if you take what the three weeks I've done so far um, you know, with me adding 10 instead of 959, I'm actually ahead. So I'm fine with that. Okay. And we're going to add that into the penny savings challenge envelope. And so we've got 25 in here. Um, be sure to watch my 
mid-month budget update. I will be sharing what I spent so far. $700 on unexpectedly. So I am grateful for savings because had I not had the savings, I would have been royally in big, big trouble. Um, so check out that video if you want to know more. Probably um, will go up on Sunday. So Saveopoly is what we have next. So for, actually I'm going to do Saveopoly last because I may not, I don't know what my Saveopoly amount is going to be so I may not have cash for it. Next we're going to do the $5 savings challenge. So I think I have one $5 bill and my cash envelopes. And these are just my groceries, dining out, gas, and um, household envelopes. And yeah, so I have one $5 bill. And we are going to add that to our tracker. And in case you were wondering, I didn't shade anything in here on the rainy day fund because I've only saved $40 so far. So when I get to 50, I will color one in. So for our $5 savings challenge, we are going to add a $5 bill and this is really just keeping track of what I've saved this year. My total $5 savings challenge balance is actually my vacation fund. So um, I will probably go through and color this in once a month um, just to update it and see where we're at at the end of every month. But this is from last year and we will just con be continuing on with that. So we're going to put this $5 bill in our vacation account and um, this gives us a total of $85 here in cash. I do periodically take this to the bank and deposit it, which is where the rest of it is at. Okay, so next up we are going to do the... Um, zero out savings challenge which I'm not going to do on camera because it's really difficult to um, blur it out. I'm not, I'm not trying to give you all, all my banking info. I have enough identity fraud issues. Um, so I'm just going to tell you what the amount is going to be which it's going to be $6.59 that we are zeroing out. The way the zero out savings challenge works is you take the tens and ones column of your checking account, bank account, and you transfer that to your savings. And so um, as an example, if you have $599.12, so 599.12, you would transfer over the nine and the 12 cents, leaving you with 590, so it's zeroed out, and um, putting $9.12 into your savings account. So I have um, 659, and that is going to go to my savings account. So I'm gonna do that right now. successful. PD says hi again. He's actually really saying if you don't get off the internet, the internet, get off the internet, mom. Okay, so 659. This one's electronic. So we are going to just keep track of it here. So since starting the zero out challenge, we're on our third week. We've already saved 
$21.18. All right, so um, I'm trying to keep track of what I'm doing here. Okay, so next we're going to do the Budget Mom Savings Challenge. And so for this month, it is the laundry haul. You count the pieces of laundry that you washed. So um, I should have 35 pieces of laundry. Yes, so we're going to do $35 into the Budget Mom Savings Challenge and... 2010, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 35. Okay, so I'm going to add that into our January Budget Mom Savings Challenge envelope. So we should have 45 now because we had 10 last week. Okay, so 20, 30, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, $45 in the Budget Mom Savings Challenge. Real quick, I want to show you. I'm working on some budget kits and I don't know if I like them. Um, it looks way more pink on camera but now that I'm looking at it under this light I really like it so maybe I will use this after all um, my budget kits are always pick your month so you don't have to do February but this is what I'm thinking about doing for February and then um, how about all these kits from different places and I don't know why I did that because I can make my own and I just don't but because I thought this one was looking a little red instead of pink, but it's looking more pink now that I'm looking at it. Um, I was doing this one, but then this one was looking red. I don't know, maybe it was the light I was in. So this is pink plaid. This is candy stripe. Pink candy stripe. I think I'm just going to add them all, and if you like them, hey. Then I did the pink polka dot. It's a lot of pink for a person that's not big on pink. Um, so we'll do that one as well. And then I was messing around with one for like Black History Month. And I actually think this is what I'm going to use. It's hard for me to get this white writing. This is where I'm having a struggle um, on the other pieces. So once I can get that, I'm good to go. But I was also thinking about offering this as a, just a monthly kit. Um, I did that with the agate as well. So um, I think I'm going to put that out. So you look for these this weekend. Um, to be available in the shop, Studio Blisco. Okay, next we are going to do our 52-week savings challenge. So we're going to go back here to the back. And here is our 52-week savings challenge. So this week we're saving $44, which... Um, if you don't know, I do skip around. I picked my four numbers. I'm trying to see. Am I going to be short? I think I'm going to be short a week, but that's okay. We'll pick something. I picked my four numbers at the beginning of the month. So we are adding $44. So if you take your 52 plus your 44, we are up to 96 that we've saved so far in the 52 week savings challenge. So we're going to take 20, 40, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And we will add that to our 52 week savings challenge envelope. there. Next we are going to do the 22 in 2022 
which is just something I sort of made up for my own little self-care and that is saving $22 a week so we are up to 66 here and there's some money in there that's from last year so I don't want to commingle it so 20, 40, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I'm a dollar short because I missed one. So 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, $66. And we will also write that. No. Well. This is my savings tracker, so I am gonna I'm gonna color in up to sixty since we have sixty six. And I don't think that's the same color pencil, but it's okay. We work with what we have. Okay, last but not least, save Opoly. So we are going to roll our dice and uh, see where we land. All right, so we've got four, and that one's off camera. It was a two, so six. And here's our little marker. So we're going to go six spots. One, two, three, four, five, six. Am I in jail? No. J go to jail. It's over here. So sa <laughs> save Opoly is $50. I do not have $50, so I need to go find $50 um, <laughs> this week. Um, and I'll just add it in when I can go to the bank. So we will update our... Tracker though for Saveopoly. Okay, so today is the 14th and we are saving 50, bringing us to 60. So that is this week's savings challenges. Let's add them up to see what we saved 20 plus 10 plus 50 plus 5 plus 44 plus 22 plus 35 plus 659 is that right let's try again 20 plus 10 plus 50 plus 5 plus 44, plus 22, plus 35, plus 659. Yep, 191, 59 is what we have saved this week. So that is our savings challenges for the week ending January 14th. Join me back here next Friday for another savings challenge update. And be sure to check out these new budget kits. And I think I will make them all available as little monthly um, kits as well on Studio Blisco. These should be up sometime on um, Saturday or Sunday. Hope you enjoyed this video and had fun saving with me. I will see you next time. Bye.